In this video, I'm going to show you guys my top three chest exercises that help me grow my chest from looking like this to this. And for my cheat meal, I'm going to take you guys to one of my favorite all-you-can-eat Japanese sushi and seafood buffet. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So right now, I am at Gold's Gym right here with Michael. Hello. And it's a beautiful day out. It's like 70 degrees. We're like in like the city vibes right here. City boy! Here's the fit. Today we have an exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna be taking you guys to one of my favorite Japanese sushi buffets, seafood, all you can think of. And I'm gonna take you guys through my top three favorite chest exercises that grew my chest from this to this. But yeah, let's not get too much into the food yet because we still got this workout to get to. Um, but yeah, let's grow some chest. All right guys, before we get into this workout, I always start by warming up with bands, resistance bands. I usually do internal, external rotations. And don't use dumbbells when you guys like warm up your shoulders because it doesn't do anything. Dumbbells are pretty much free weight, so you're lazy just going back and forth looking dumb. So use bands. I usually do face pulls just to get more blood in my shoulders and rotator cuff so we don't prevent any injuries. But yeah, I'm gonna warm up and then we'll start on the first exercise that helped me grow my chest. Basically every chest day, I would start with any type of flies, pec decks, cable flies, whatever, just to get blood into it before you start working on it. I do this for like two sets, warm up sets, not going so heavy, um, just going light, like 12 to 15 reps and just get more blood flow into it for the next exercise, if you guys know what I mean. Yeah, I go light and basically just focus on that mind muscle connection. Squeeze, get that full range of motion, stretch and hold. Just get the pecs warmed up as well as your shoulders and everything. Um, but yeah, and then after flies, I would do two sets of rope extensions for the triceps just to get the elbows and the triceps warmed up. That's what I do before any uh, chest workout. Try it out and you guys will see the difference. Yeah, this is my vlog now, buddy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my okay, God. Just wait till my pump pump comes up. All right, so we're gonna start with the first exercise with a compound chest exercise, which is gonna be some type of dumbbell press, either flat or incline, depends on what your goal is. Personally for me, I'm lacking in the lower chest area, so I stick to flat dumbbell press. But really just do the exercise that that will help you, you know, achieve your goals. I just do like one or two warm-up sets and pretty much see how I feel after that and then go into my working sets, which is three sets. dumbbell press is make sure the dumbbell is right above your elbows not going in or not going out basically right above just so you don't have any strain and make sure you go full range of motion get that deep stretch and then squeeze don't lock out but squeeze your chest make sure you uh, your shoulder blades are retracted and tight I uh, usually do like 10 to 12 light reps just to warm up and then we go Go right to the working set. Just did two warm-up sets, 60s and 80s. Right now we're gonna do our first working set, which is gonna be the hundreds. Probably gonna hit this for eight to ten reps and then go up, see how it feels after that. Yeah, it's time to take off the pump though. Slight pump, but yeah. Today. Do I actually? No, you look fine. Nothing crazy. Alright, let's go hit the hundreds. Form over weight, guys. I 
the 110s. I know you're gonna ask me about barbell benching. Personally, I don't do it anymore. Uh, when I first started, I did a lot because I always wanted to, you know, have the strongest in my bench, but I didn't really open my mind to like thinking about growth and optimization. So right now, I, I would choose dumbbells over bench any days for growth, but it honestly depends on your uh, goals. If you're a powerlifter or you want to have like, a, like you want to get stronger at benching, then yeah, go ahead and incorporate it. But if growth wise, dumbbells are more optimal than barbell. Put your ego aside and focus on what is really important and what your goals are. But yeah, we're gonna hit 110s for 6.8. Let's get it. gonna do two more sets go down in weight and up in the reps and focus on squeezing and controlling and tempo Third set, I did 110s again for eight. Now I did like a drop set, drop down hundreds for as many as I can. Make sure you guys always, not always train to failure, but you know, push yourself, keep the intensity high, um, and don't cheat yourself. Let's move on to the second exercise. So after any compound chest movement, for the second exercise, I always do like an isolation chest movement. So for example, we have the incline Smith machine press. This is probably one of my favorite exercises just to isolate any part of your chest, the upper or lower. So basically just helps that get that good stretch and gives you that really good mind-muscle connection because you can go slow and just focus on just one muscle part. If I want to work on my upper chest, I would just do this Smith machine incline or um, incline dumbbells, but I would choose that over the dumbbells. Third set, let's get it. Set ranges, I do four sets. The first set, I would just do like 10 to 12 reps, and then I go up in weight and lower the reps. So, for example, set one would be 12 to 15 reps, set two would be 10, 10 to 8, and then um, the third set's gonna be the heaviest, so six to eight reps, and then after that, do like a drop set of you know 12 to 15 and actually isolate and squeeze the muscle, wear it out, let the mus muscle fibers freaking rip, and that's pretty much how you grow. Third exercise is a staple, cable flies. You guys can use pec deck or whatever, but I'm gonna do cable flies today. Depending on your goal, there's different ways to work your chest with the cable flies. So you got the upper, which is the low angle, and you pull up. The middle, which is gonna be your the overall chest, and then the high angle, when you go down, it's gonna work your lower chest. But today, we're gonna be doing middle, just because we already hit like a lower chest and an upper chest, so we're gonna isolate both.
guys get that full range of motion, get that deep stretch, and then push. Pretend you're pushing your elbows together and squeeze. For like one or two seconds, go slow on the negative, time and attention, and yeah, repeat. If you have trouble with like stability when you're doing flies, you guys can always go on your knees, pause, um, and do these. This gives you better stability and stretch. Dude, this is insane. Get that one to two second hold. See those microfibers? Muscle fibers activating. Go slow on the eccentric, one to two tempo, and then squeeze. Same soy, get it? Here's like a bonus exercise. Um, dips is probably one of my favorite exercises to end off any push workout. It literally works on your front delt, um, lower lower chest, and then your triceps right here. Just depends on the angle you do it. So if you do more forward, that's gonna work on your lower chest and front delts a little bit. If you depend, if you go standing up, it'll be more on triceps. But here's a tip: if you guys don't have any like weighted belts, if you want to do weighted dips. You guys can use a dumbbell right here. All you gotta do is just put it in between your legs, like that, cross it, push up like that. Yeah, works on your abductors because you're really trying to squeeze the weight, but at the same time, the triceps, the front delts, and the lower chest. Try it out. Yeah, it's pretty much done the workout. I'll see you guys outside. Hope you guys enjoy some of the tips and tricks I gave you for you know chest growth. Granted, you know my chest isn't that good, but I did manage to grow. I agree. This guy's talking. I agree. Your chest is trash. Personally, my upper chest is not lacking, but my lower chest is. It's a genetic thing, but still, I'm trying to push past it. Um, thing about form over weight. You always need to focus on the mind-muscle connection because if you're just pushing the weight up, it doesn't mean much, you know? You're not gonna grow from it and you're most likely gonna injure yourself if you eagle it. So make sure you guys focus on feeling the muscle contract and that's pretty much how you're gonna grow. But yeah, right now we're about to go to the buffet and eat, but what the heck, did I get a ticket? Oh my God, I really thought it's a barbershop thing, advertisement, I'll catch you guys at the restaurant see you all right guys just made it to the buffet i haven't been here in years i used to go here with my like family all the time um but yeah it's been years since i've been back here but it's it's probably one of my favorite buffets but you know less talking let's get right to the restaurant <laughs> Oh, 
All right, guys. So as you can tell, I pretty much got like one of each from everything. Just try everything out. But uh, yeah, first thing I got was some sushi. Pretty much one of each. And then the hot bar items. One of my favorites is the udon noodles, freshly made. Sorry for the weird angle. This is what I'm working with. First bite. Cheers. And next up, I think we have like a dragon roll right here. It's so good. I've already got an instant pump from eating this. <laughs> See that? Oh my gosh. And then fish eggs. Let me know if you guys like fish eggs. I do. I don't really care because it's sushi. But you know, it's pretty good. Mm. I'm gonna chase you down with some udon noodles. Hopefully, you guys see that. I don't wanna spill it. The udon bowls are probably like one of my favorite things to get here. I, I could down like 10 of these. We're gonna try some teriyaki chicken from the hot bar. It's okay. It's kind of dry to be honest. It's probably been sitting there for a while, cooking up. The heat is so intense from this lamp. And then I think it's like spicy orange chicken. I don't know what it is, but it looks like orange chicken. Mm. Gives off a little heat, but not too much. I'm gonna try the beef. Yeah, this looks dry as hell. But it's protein, so I'm gonna eat it. It's actually not that bad. Some mini clams right here. Decent. This is like a calamari stick right here. Not bad. Still has like its crispy consistency. It's pretty good. But yeah, veggie dumpling right here. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, kind of mid. Next up, we got the Philadelphia roll. Dang, bro, it's not focused because it's focusing on your face, bro. It's so big. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Philadelphia roll. Not really cream cheese type of guy, but I got it. So screw it. Yeah, I hate the cream. The dragon yeah. really good. No shot. No shot. It's like 75% cream cheese. It's so bad. Got the straight salmon roll, raw. If you guys only eat cooked sushi, you shouldn't be eating sushi at all. You guys are missing the experience with the raw sushi. Michael used to eat cooked sushi all the time, but now I converted him. I think this is like a shrimp tempura, eel, cucumber, with some eggs on top and seaweed dust. Oh yeah, that one's good. That one's good. I have it right there. Damn! It's good, right? Eel just okay. makes everything better. Next up, we got the mini shrimp sumai. This looks mediocre. Oh, no shot. That was bad. That was probably the worst thing. Yo, not gonna lie, it looks kind of jacked. Orange pastry, I think. Oh, wait, this is good. Alright, that ends the overview. About to get my third to fourth plate. Still kind of hungry. Pacing myself, not trying to eat too fast or too much. Just trying to enjoy it and everything. Can't wait till we get to You got dessert already after like two plates. I'm bloated, bro. Bro. Food. You always got to stay disciplined and wait. Dessert looks good, but you got to eat all the protein first and then you eat the dessert. New scenery. Yeah. Third plate. Trying to eat more protein at the moment, but cheers. Bro, cameraman's about to have a heart attack, bro. I think you need to take over. They're, they're over there eating dessert, bro. But we'll get there, don't worry, we'll get there. Teriyaki chicken. A lot better. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this and then we're probably gonna get dessert. Actually, I got another bowl of udon noodles. So, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you feel? <laughs> Man's about to yak. I'm not even. Into your stomach. Give me, give me. Oh my god. 
bro, and like I'm, I'm not even trying. Like it's being pushed out. Like, bro. <laughs> this man ate like four plates of like dessert and three crepes. Yeah, he's tripping. And he said he could have done the 10k calorie challenge. I'm feeling good, you know. Not trying to like indulge too, too much because I'm low key having PTSD from the 10k calorie challenge. Time for dessert. Let's get it. Okay. Ready. Ready. I got two crepes with Nutella and banana in it. One of them I'm gonna put ice cream in it, and then one of them I'm just gonna keep it regular. So they have like soft served ice cream, green tea, and vanilla. I'll probably go with green tea, make it interesting. Oh my god. That's kind of a lot, but screw it. Alright, we're about to get some cake. Probably gonna get one of each. I got two because I know what tiramisu is, so and it's really good. I'll get the last green tea cake right here. Oreo cake, I'm gonna get two. I have to take off my t-shirt. <laughs> I have to take it off. Peach tart. And then I guess I'll get some butter cookies and I'll get like three. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't we don't want that. That's it. That's it. I'll see you guys at the table. Guys, we're literally all wearing black beaters. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's time for dessert. We're gonna get the ice cream crepe with banana and Nutella in it. Tears. Mm. It's so good with the ice cream. It's really cold. You guys, look at that. They put a lot of Nutella in it, not gonna cap. Every cup of your fatness. Uh, I'm not eating all that. Sheesh. They put a lot of Nutella in this. I'm just gonna scrape it off a little because it's kind of excessive. Put like half a jar in there. Damn, the ice cream was really good. I'm gonna have to get get ice cream real quick. Really good, guys. The fresh crepes is a great touch here. I can't breathe. I gave you flex, bro. We got the cakes right here. Cookies and cream. Tiramisu is pretty good too. I'm gonna finish the rest of this, and that's pretty much gonna be a wrap on the eating. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Damn, they can't hang, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Hope you guys get something out of my top three chest exercise for growth. Probably gonna do like a food challenge next video, but we'll see, you know. I'm just trying to push out as much content as possible. Post is going to post every Sunday. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to support me, you guys can use code Jason on Raw Gear, Marcozo, and Alpha Line. Catch you guys in the next video. Love you guys.